All right, I'm going to show you guys how to use Money Robot. Now, this is the paid version, but if you have the free version, even though you can't do these big tiered, uh, multi-tier campaigns, just with the free version, you can still you can still get a lot done. So, and you have it for seven days, so you can use it, create like a nice branded uh, Web 2.0 small network. All right, I'll show you how to do that. So let's. You're going to come here to projects and you're going to click new. So I'll pretend my company is just a home improvement company. All right. So then once I click here, I'm going to go over to new task, web 2.0 blogs. All right. And then here are the blogs it's going to attempt to make accounts on. You can unclick some if you don't want. Um, I'll go ahead and just try for them all. Okay. So article title here. Article body. And then it comes pre pre set up. So it'll create all these um all these accounts here. I'm gonna show you how to a way to do it a little bit differently. So let's say these are the accounts. I want it to make. I don't want it to be like Ryan.blogspot.com, Bill.blogspot. I want it to be kind of more keyword related. So you know what? I'm gonna put these all. Because these are going to be like home renovations.blogspot.com. Okay, so this is just a list of you know, random keywords. If you type in keywords to spin tax, you'll get this this link here. It's a nice little these little things. So these are the accounts it's gonna make. And you could put just one in here, but I'm gonna create a few. So I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna erase these names. I'm gonna keep the numbers just because I'm creating so many accounts that it's probably gonna have duplicate names. So it'll create random uh numbers and letters too so let me just erase these first names and now we have spin tax for these here so the accounts are going to be called like home improvement 165.pages10.com for example and the blog title we can spin the blog title real quick I'll go ahead and sp and like with the paid version um, you'll have the ability it'll automatically create an article spin it and do everything but with the free one, you have to put in your own article and body. Um, I guess you can put it in here and, and click spin, but I have spin rewriter, so I already have an article ready. If you go to spin rewriter, fetch new article, put in your keyword, it'll help you find an article to spin. I have one right here, so I'll go ahead and spin it. And because this is a tier two, I don't, I'm not too worried about high quality, so I just pretty much clicked every option and spin it up real good. Now, the reason I'm, I'm showing you this stuff, I could just, you know, build one with how it's already set up. But I just want to make a few little changes to, to have a few more keywords in these um, Web 2.0s. All right, so it's starting to put it in spin tax here. You'll see it's just got big phrases separated by these. So I want to do nested spinning, which is going to spin all these words too and just make them a lot more unique. So one click rewrite settings. Multi-level nested spinning. And 
And uh, if you don't want to buy Spin Rider, there's some from some free sources out there. I'll try to link them down in the comments. All right, so you'll see this is really um, highly spun up. Billions of possible versions. 99% unique. We'll go to final step. All right, so here, here's the spin tax version, and then here's where it's going to create some articles. House renovation project techniques, residence renovation projects techniques, house renovation projects methods. You know, it's just going to spin these up into unlimited articles. And then we can just take a look at copyscape. And see. So it's 13% similar as uh, something else. Let's see this one. Okay. So this is pretty pretty well spun. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the actual spin tax version of it. Copy it. And that's going to be our article. All right. And then we'll go ahead and spin a title up too. So titles are pretty easy. Okay, so there's a title. We're going to spin it up. And we'll spin this one by hand. So the best. Very best, most effective, most ideal, the greatest, most reliable, absolute best, the leading. All right, that's good enough. Home, house, residence, property, household. So we, I'd like to change them up and just add a lot of different keywords here. Here's innovation remodeling. Suggestions, ideas, pointers, recommendations, comments, techniques, strategies, sure. Concepts, suggestions, tips, techniques, approaches. All right, so that's that's pretty well spun up. Put that over here in the the title. Let's see, blog title. Now let's go ahead and put that in there too. Spin that up. Let's see, the leading residence remodeling pointers approaches blogging site. All right. So these are some of the articles that's going to pop out. So let's insert a link here. Let's find a site. All right, homeimprovementarea.com. Then keywords here. All right, so there's some keywords. Insert my link. All right, so it's got a link right here to the home page. And this is um, a tier one link right here. This is not like a money site I'm trying to rank. This is just a site that I use as a buffer site. So I'm going to go ahead and build some to this. Let's see what else we can do here. We can put some. YouTube videos in here. Okay, I'll just go ahead and, and create this right now. It's got the one link in there. 
All right, so if this was your site, right here, home improvement, home improvement tips, you can kind of have some more of your own uh, keywords you're trying to rank for. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do it. And we'll click start task. All right, and it's building them. I'll pause this video and come back once it's once it's done, and we'll take a look at what it created for us. And remember, this is something you can do with the free version, okay? But you can't do multiple tiers. So, like in this in this example, this one project created all this. It, you see, it's been running for a couple of days, creating hundreds of profiles, and then hundreds of links to that profile, and then likes and shares to that profile. So that's multi-tier. Now, with the free one, we're just going to be able to just do one task at a time. All right. All right, I'll come back. Thanks. All right, so they're done being created. We'll take a look at the URLs here. These are all the URLs that were created. So we got do-it-yourself, home improvement, you know, and then some um, some randoms. But you're getting a lot of different keywords. So it's good for, you know, contextual backlinks. All, all, all the terms, all the different keywords in these URLs, you know, just make that backlink more powerful if you're linking to that type of site. So let's take a look at one of these URLs real quick. All right. So you see, it's not anything super powerful, you know, but the most ideal home enhancement strategies and concepts site. So, you know, even though it's not perfect, it's still talking about home improvement and using lots of different related keywords. And then we'll see. So there's an outbound link here, home renovations will take you to our target, which is to power up this domain and give it a little bit more power and then possibly put a link from this site to our money site. All right. So I did that for all these URLs. And because it's just, I'm showing you just a free version, you'll see just blogs here. Now what you can do is, Even with the free version, you can just run an, another project. We'll just call it Tier 2. Tier 2 Home Improvement. All right. So that's your first one. This is the second one. And you know what? Maybe I can grab all the URLs off there. I've actually never done this, but I'm trying to figure out a way for you guys to get multiple tiers in there um, with just the free version and within the seven day trial period. All right, so new task. Logs.